I want to talk about some secrets. Secrets of the Illuminati that they don't want you to know. Real secrets that you can't handle. You better just turn this shit off because you're a little bitch. Little bitch. From darkness, ascending from the darkness into light. Everybody has this curled lip. Oh, uh, their amygdala is buried as far as you can fucking get to the I don't give a fuck retard region. When you tone down your amygdala a little bit, okay, secrets here. It's like if you overlook the diamond in the rough, I'm gonna find it. I'm rich and you overlooked it. That means you don't have any fucking wealth there. You overlooked the diamond in the rough. I found it. You're retarded. I can sit here and hold up a diamond in the rough and say, here's the secrets to the everything, and you can just overlook it and say, that don't sound right. Because you're working on flawed logic. Um, depression. you want you want to be depressed there's the, your secret so anybody in the in the high amygdala reason region you can tell it high amygdala bullshit it's all bullshit now if if that's what you're going for which of course you are cuz no one else would ever dare to do anything different. They're afraid of what they don't know. They live in fear of depression because they don't know it, so they'd rather live in fear of it instead of embracing it from darkness to light. Darkness, depression, light, enlightenment. <clears throat> you don't go from the light to the light that's your amygdala problem where everybody's like up in the fucking high end of the amygdala which that's their choice you know but they can never make a choice they let other people choose form and then it's as a form of peer pressure they do what they're told when people look in the mirror and they have to sit there and smile to trick their amygdala they're tricking themselves not not in good ways all the time it's a trick it's being deceitful fake it until you make it what if you don't have to fake it ever what if you went from depression to happiness legitimately without faking it depression darkness or just darkness how about just the dark like darkness from the darkness to the light it gets dark at night you need an, a balance in amygdala if you're if you never get depressed how would you know what it's like to be depressed if you're afraid of it they keep you in fear of it <clears throat> six petals of the lotus ascend from the darkness from the dirt 
filth, grit, and grime. To blossom in the light. It's Buddhism. You have to, like, kill the ego and be reborn again of the non-ego. Which, people that have a huge ego, they don't understand what it's like to not really have a huge ego. So, to them, they think it's a huge ego to not have an ego. It's their, it's like their mental problem. They don't get it. They're like, I don't get it. I don't understand They've never seen anybody that's never had an ego before. They're on such an ego trip. I can only imagine what kind of bisphenol A in the water that they help to induce this type of lemmingism. Fluoride in the water. I'm telling you. Everyone I'm watching they're burying their amygdala up in the high and it's weird it's just weird it's not normal like normal would be normal they're way too up there way 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 too up there when you go up you must come down they're gonna crash and when they do they might go brain dead literally like they might just go uh, and curl over like brain dead <coughs> B real life brain dead like they might have to be hooked up to a machine or something after their amygdala pops. You bury your amygdala up in the high. You're you're like poisoning your brain as that's happening. It has to come back down, and it they're not. They're doing everything they can to push their amygdala as high as it go and to ride that happy train. It wasn't meant to last. You're chasing a dragon. You're chasing a fucking dragon, and you don't even know it. You don't even know. Your amygdala. You're trying to make yourself stoned. You're trying to get high. You're you're giving yourself some kind of drug. You you have to look in the mirror and trick your amygdala, all buried to the fucking. It's like you you bought a Lamborghini, and you can only drive it on full throttle. It's like there's no less gas, slow down, let off the accelerator, it's just full blah all the way and it's like you're gonna blow your engine. Their people's brains are popping, they're blowing their engines, dude. Secrets, secrets anybody. Wait, are you telling me it's secret? I'm gonna go blow my amygdala. I don't care what you just said. I didn't just hear a damn fucking thing. I'm gonna go do exactly the opposite of you just said because it's rebellious. It's rebellious to be stupid. It's rebellious to be ignorant. I thought it was rebellious to be intelligent, but um, you know who am I to tell you anything? Go ahead, be stupid. I don't. You, what are you gonna pop your amygdala? Have fun there, dude. Have fun. Because while you define your existence by chasing a dragon and making your amygdala buried in the high, we define our existence through our trials and triumphs, our tribulations, the test of faith that we have is unparalleled to yours. Because we were born of 
the darkness and of the bitterness and of the cold. Those are things we call home. Like Bane and Batman. He was born of the darkness. And sometimes the darkness spits something out. You can't fucking chew. And that's why I'm, I left you a blumbering idiot, if that's even a word. You don't even know what to say. You gotta go run back to your amygdala and go, oh, wow, well, wow, well, it's okay. Mm. With your, like, mm. Like, you gotta go cry to your mommy or something. Mommy, you tell me it's okay. My amygdala buried in the high. I, w I would thank everybody that ever gave me tough love. Because they made me stronger, and that, that was depression, you know? That tough love, that's not what you've ever had. You, you've never had somebody show you the right way. You never had um, uh, your mother teach you how to fly and kick you out of the nest. When I, I have, in a sense... You're thinking of the wrong nest. That's what you're thinking of. Pick my nose. We define our existence through depression. You're going to do that anyways. And there's different ways to go about it. You can let it control you, or you can con control it. Basically, at this point right now, you let it control you. It's like... What do you have to fear except fear itself? Your fear of the darkness is controlling you. There's nothing in the dark that's scary. You're so pumped up on your amygdala, you don't even know it. Dude, your amygdala is like surging out of your face. Like, and you're like brain dead, amygdala surged written all over your face and it, it's just it's that's your choice it's not really good you're, you're not as good as you think that that dragon that you're riding with your amygdala and shit it's just it's not as good as you think there, there has to be if there's an up there has to be a down your life is a roller coaster you're not gonna bury your amygdala up into the high and leave it there like you think you're gonna have a crash and when you're not accepting your crashes if you take a medicine and ruin your crashes if you're like well I don't want to be depressed I don't want to feel sad I'm a little fucking bitch I don't want to feel sad you just killed yourself you just did a lobotomy you just took a brain worm you bury your amygdala and you're fucked dude we ascend from the shit depression we are define our existence and you want to take away what you want to steal from me what I love best I like being depressed I like it 
ha 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 ha. And because you want to trick your amygdala, and if they get everybody to believe, hey, tricking your amygdala is the coolest fucking thing in the world, try it out. And that's normal. It's normal to be like, uh, durr, huh, 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 all the fucking time. I mean, they profile me. I can't wait to fucking profile them back. It's every dumb word they say about me. I just want to say the dumbest shit right back at them. I just want to twist it back at them and just throw it right back in their face. They're like, ride the amygdala. Huh, huh, huh. And I just want to throw it right back in their face and get no views, no subs, nobody likes what I have to say. It goes against everything you've ever known to believe because you're so stupid. You're afraid of what if you reversed everything. <clears throat> you have to live in fear of the unknown. You don't have a curious mind. You're not curious. I don't know what that's going to achieve for you. Wanting to live in a prison planet full of zombies trapped in, a, in a, some kind of crazy amygdala high. Who knows what kind of drugs inducing their amygdala high, fluoride, bisphenol A. And then watching them trick their amygdala and, and just like begging the God that they'll raise their amygdala. Like, depression is great. Learn to love it, man. You're retarded. That's the secret. We ascend from the dirt, filth. We don't ascend from high amygdalas up in the fucking upper high. <laughs> you don't ascend from that. That's the de-evolution right there. You ascend from depression. Not to what they are. Something far better than that. And if you're afraid of that, you're afraid of better, you want worse, it, it doesn't make any sense. You're clinging to these ideas of false hope and realism that just that don't apply to real life. And it's a, it's a mass mental illness. This is when everybody that you know is on some kind of crazy fucking power trip. I don't know what to tell you, dude. It's it's not going to be good. You're not going to get good stuff out of that. You might live. You might live today. You might live tomorrow. You might live for a hundred years like that. I don't think it's going to be good, dude. You're afraid of depression. I'm afraid of what will happen when my when your amygdala pops. You're going to... You're the one... You think I'm going to end up in a mental hospital? Even so, I'm a better man than you. I could fucking deal with it. You, you're a little fucking bitch. You would fucking die. Okay? That's why I'm not afraid of what's in the dark. Because I'm a better man than it. Something you're not. That's why you have to hide and be a little bitch. And hope that your little bitchiness doesn't catch up to you. <clears throat> And I don't care how big you are, how strong you think you are, you you live in fear. On some level, you know, the, the this eugenics, like, if you're a zombie of dis eugenics, like, I don't have nothing to say to you. Like, you're you're gonna live your dumb life. You're gonna be rock hard stupid. You're gonna be a zombie. You're going to be like an idiocracy. You're going to be like if I took the fattest, dumbest retard in the movie Idiocracy and brought it into real life and was looking at him dead in the face, that'd be you. And it'd be like, wow, like what great usefulness is going to come out of that? Like, whatever, like go go be a zombie. But I don't, I don't know what to expect out of it. I don't know. Like, people are so quick to just be like, you're lying. 
you don't know what you're talking about. I like my amygdala high. And I'm like, you can't even listen for a second. Like, I can't even get a sentence out before you're like, la 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 la. And it's like, fine. But this video still exists. As much as you want to censor it and not listen to it, it still exists. So go ignore it. Look at how many people have to ignore it and laugh and say, I'm the one that's fucked up. Because they live in that fear of what if, what if they were wrong. They, they could never accept that. It's like you you could make a filthy Frank video and just go the <gasps> and you'd get like a hundred thousand views. But if you if you actually said something important, real, you're just fucking crazy. Hey, it's you could go to any doctor and they would say, yeah, it's not good to bury your amygdala. You're tricking your amygdala. Sure, we can give you some pills to help with that if a doctor really cared about you and they, they weren't m worried about making money on those pills they would tell you the real thing they would say this is not good you will go insane like depression is a normal thing of life that's why it's called mass murder pills why, do they, why does Alex Jones call them mass murder pills it makes you an emotionless zombie that means you could go kill little kids and you wouldn't feel any remorse or guilt about what you did because, oh my God, you're trapped in the high upper end of the amygdala. Did you know psychopaths, um, they kill people to get that feeling of like, oh wow, like that power. Like, some people jump out of airplanes to get this rush that rush that gives them a high almost like drugs well drugs mimic that you know so a murderer might fuck a thousand prostitutes to get really up in that high like he knows he ain't supposed to be he's got AIDS now and he's riding that high like fuck yeah man he might have to do a pound of coke like, not, not a hit, not two hits, not smoking it every day. No, like, they want a truckload dropped in their lap, and they're like, <sighs> and they have to ride that high as long as they can. They have to kill someone and, and see how long that high lasts. And it's like, the first time they might kill someone, they might be high for a week. Then they might have to get down to, like, killing two people a week. Or, or killing different kinds of people, like old ladies little kids you know <clears throat> and they have to ride that high like that's that's what you're doing is you're, you're just riding this high train you're chasing a, your own dragon and money and everything all it all has everything to do with it and I see people and they're just riding that and I'm like Like, oh my God, like, and then, th then they would, s they would say, this is what you need to do, Aaron. You need to ride the amygdala train, like us. And I'm like, no, that's why you're fucked up. They're like, no, you're fucked up. That's why you're fucked up, because you don't ride the amygdala train and have a high, buried, upper, happy amygdala. And it's like with flawed logic you're not gonna get it like you're supposed to get depressed you kill little kids you're supposed to get depressed you no never what is that gonna produce if you have everybody in the world riding the amygdala and they're on mass murder pills and they don't give a fuck and they're incapable of giving a fuck and you live in a world full of people that don't give a fuck and they're riding the upper brain dead amygdala train what, what the fuck do you think you're gonna get? 
I don't think it's enlightenment. I don't think it's ascension. I don't think it's heavenly goodliness. I think they're in hell. And that's why they need to pray to their God. Because their God is, is making them miserable. So it's like, that's why I would rather pray to Satan. Because I'm not afraid of him. I will go to hell and kick his ass. And then ascend from that shit. Like, I will go to God and say, Look, dude, I don't need you. What do you think about that? I don't need you. I don't need to pray for you for anything. I'm okay without you. No, you need to be a little bitch. You need that extra little fucking help. Because you're a little fucking bitch. Little ballless, little pussy fucking bitch. Pussy footing around. Stalking people and shit. Thinking you're on some upper fucking amygdala high horse. When really I got the, the low high ground that you didn't know shit about, motherfucker. Because I'm real. I don't need no fucking amygdala changing, dragon riding fucking bullshit. Hmm. Your amygdala is going to crash. If you're mentally prepared for hardship, you're going to be able to deal with it. I don't think it's people like me that you gotta worry about. It's the people that have been riding the amygdala train and that's all they know. And when it finally doesn't work anymore and their amygdala finally crashes and it can't go up high anymore, their motor finally breaks and it finally goes and plunges down, <clears throat> they don't know how to handle it. They won't know how to handle it. That's when you get people cracking and losing it. And that's why you get the mass murder pills. And that's why they're mass murder pills. Because the second their brain quits working because they overran it. They overrun it. They ran out of gas. And it finally crashes. That's where shit really gets fucked up. Either they die or they might take some people with them. And so I'm not worried about depressed people. I'm more worried about the people that had to trick their amygdala the rest of their life and then when it finally got too late, they couldn't do anything about it. That's what, that's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about you, man. Because you're retarded. And, and I'm kind of worried, like, am, am I going to wake up one day and have a fucking high amygdala riding zombie, like, uh, uh, I want to eat your face, uh, uh, like, hovering over me. Like, no, I don't, I don't want to wait for you to snap because you've been riding the amygdala train and then calling me bad because you're riding some amygdala fucking crack train. And it's like, crack mimics natural chemicals in the brain that are already there. You're tricking your brain and basically tricking it to mimic coke. Like... Bisphenol A is an estrogen mimicker. Well, you trying to ride a high horse, amygdala train, like, you're, you're not going to do it. Even if you do, you're going to reach highs, highs, and you're going to have to, your tolerance is raised, and you're going to have to keep taking more amygdala pills until something breaks and when it does you get cancer you die your body can't handle 
high amygdala. It, it was never meant to. And, and that's the thing about amygdala. It's a reward. It's a behavior reward. Sex releases dopamine. You could take coke and it releases dopamine. You might feel like you had sex. You trick your amygdala. It releases dopamine. You ride your high horse. You think you're all great. And it's like... Poison immunity. You are immune to depression. Why? Because you've taken little doses all the time. So, a depression bazooka could hit you. And you're like, BOOM! Hey, that was pretty good. Give me some more of that. And they're like, that was meant to kill you. We just bazookaed you with depression. And you're like, I'm a man. I don't know about you. A less of a man might have fucking died. But me, I live for this shit. I think and breathe this shit. I love depression. I don't know about you. I just I just bathe in depression. You you might sit there and go, Aaron doesn't bury his amygdala in the high and now we're not gonna sub him and and try to make fun of that when it's so funny because I'm actually the one making fun of you but you're too scared of a little bitch to know the fucking truth and to know hey I just fucking intellectually insulted you and you were too stupid to understand the insult you're like Ugh, you're fucked up <laughs> yeah just wait till your amygdala crashes bitch just wait wait till it crashes one, two, three, crash. I've been living there my entire life. You're like a stock market on the day of a crash. You're like the investors jumping out the window. Committing suicide because they just saw their life savings plunge before their eyes. I don't have a life savings, dude. I don't have anything to lose. I've already lost everything. Thank you. I am now immune to every fucking thing you throw at me. And, and it's defined my existence to who I am. Every time a troll calls me a name, I bathe in that. I love it. Every time that I'm, I'm immune to your poison. This is poison immunity to depression. So you can't crash. You can't crash when you're crashed. And crashed is normal for you? You're not riding any amygdala train. <clears throat> and they can't inflate my amygdala. If they got a sub robot and they started subbing me and making me think like I'm popular all of a sudden, it wouldn't work. because I don't ride any high horse like they do. I ride the low horse, something they cannot comprehend. They, they call it ego. They think you have ego when you have none. You have no, you're depressed, you have no ego. And then they, they want to think that you're bad or you're some kind of threat when the, the truth and the reality you know what really stinks they do and and they're, they're just gonna keep pointing the finger at me no no it's the kill the messenger the person telling you the secrets of, of your fucking amygdala that it, it's not supposed to be high it's actually supposed to be low because from that low you ascend from the darkness. You can't go to the light and ascend 
to the light to the light. It doesn't work that way. So all these people thinking they're going to achieve something by tricking their amygdala and, and believing in a whole bunch of bullshit, they're really missing out. Really. So I know like people won't listen, but I'll talk anyways. I don't care if they listen. That's why I like the videos, so they, they don't have to listen. It's just out there for anybody. Dude, people are zombies. Like, I'm tired of their shit. They ride that amygdala train. And they can't hear anything. They can't hear you. Hi, how are you? What? I didn't hear you. I'm too busy riding the amygdala train. I said, hello, how are you? Sorry, I can't hear you. You're not riding the amygdala train with me. Oh, but no, wait, I got something to tell you. Blah, 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 blah. Were you listening? Yeah. I listen to everything you say. Duh. Do I not listen to everything you say? Am I not all ears? How am I supposed to hear you if I don't hear you? Okay, so I can hear you. I get what you're saying. Did you know that? Did you know that I get what you're saying? But you don't get anything that I say. I could say, hi, how are you? The sky's blue today, ain't it? No. It's not blue. Well, what, what is it then? It's fantasy land color. Well, sorry, I don't see fantasy land color. It seems to be the general consensus that it's blue, but you know, and, and everyone else, everyone in the whole world says, no, I don't believe it's blue. I don't believe the grass is green. I don't believe one plus one equals two. <clears throat> like, I'm so tired of, like, their shit. Like, they can talk at you, but as soon as you say, hi, how are you? They're like, nope, nope, Aaron's crazy. Aaron's crazy. Nope, shut up. You're, you are not allowed to talk, Aaron. No talking for you. But you should hear what I have to say. Blah, 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 blah. Durr, 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 durr. And I'm like, cool. I totally get what you're saying. But now, no, shut up. We don't care what you gotta say. Just listen to us talk for a while. Oh, your videos are weird. You talk on your videos. Oh my god, you should listen to what we have to say. Which goes against everything you have to say, which, well, that would only make sense, because I make videos only going against what you have to say. Because the grass is green, the sky is blue, you're too stupid to get that. One plus one equals two. Up is up, down is down. The world is round. Simple little things not understood by brain dead zombies. Do you understand how much it sucks to talk to someone and know that your words cannot be heard? Like, you must be speaking French or Italian or something else. Because they 
n there's nothing that gets through. There is not one word, not one sentence, one joke, one thing. But yet I hear everything they say. I sit there and I listen and I'm like, hmm. I'm listening to you. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah. Guess what I think? No, shut the fuck up. Why don't you ever talk? You just told me to shut the fuck up. You don't listen. You don't care. Could you repeat what I just said? No, you weren't listening. It's like, I, it's like I just said. What if depression was good? And you retarded. Could you imagine that? No, he couldn't. Because you're afraid. What are you afraid of? Embrace it. Embrace. What are you so fucking afraid of? The wind? The mystery? The darkness? You're afraid of your own fucking shadow. You're afraid of the dark. You're afraid of the unknown. You're not curious. You are ignorant and you want to live in your ignorance forever in your upper amygdala brain dead high like and then you want to say how I'm bad because I don't do the same regurgitation you fucking do <clears throat> and it's like Okay, do you know how irritating it is to talk to someone, but you're not allowed to talk to them? You can only hear what they have to say. And, and even if you said something, they're just going to sit there and say, why don't you ever talk? And you're like, I do. You never fucking listen. Why are you so antisocial? I'm not you aren't noticing that I'm there and it's like because I'm not as dumb as them I'm not on the high amygdala dumbness like them I'm not like ooh duh, ooh, ooh, duh. so if that's what you want you want to go there expect a real crash Ex expect Sewer slime. I don't know. Seriously, do you, do you know what it's like to talk to someone and know, like, you can't, they're, you, they're not home. Hello, are you home? Do you know what it's like to talk to people when you know that no one is upstairs anymore? Do you know what it's like to watch people go to work every day for paper and to know it's paper it's worthless they're dumb it's the it's it, it, not not money no paper literal paper they're not going to work for money they're going to work for paper not even paper money no paper and then what are they going to do with the paper nothing so, 
where was the reward to begin with? You know? Like, to me, it seems like, you you know, fancy car. That's like something to sh show for your money, right? Fancy car. Like, people have them, right? That would almost make sense. I would go to work for a fancy car. They're not even doing that anymore, dude. They're just functional zombies. They're just going to work. They don't even know why. No one's there. Do you know what it's like to talk to somebody and know that they're not there? They will never be, no matter what you say, when you say it, how you say it, hello, how are you, want to go hang out, want to do this, no one's home. They can't respond. They're not there. They keep talking and talking and talking and they don't shut up. And you, you, you can talk to them about this or that, but they never hear you, ever. Ever. You know what that's like. It's, it's horrid, dude. It is horrible. I can't have friends. I can't have a girlfriend. I can't have kids. I can't have a life. I can't have a job because I'm not them. When I when someone speaks to me, I'm listening. They're like, your duties today is sweep that and walk over there and do this and do that. Okay, I'm listening. Okay, can I take a break at five? What? I just heard a, a mouse fart. I said, can I take a break at five? But you hear that mouse farting again? Can I take a break at five? Man, that mouse just keeps farting. Can I take a break at five? Farting mouse. Don't even know where it is. Can I take a break at four? Can I take a break at six? Maybe I should just quit and go home. You're not listening. Like, why is it I'm listening to you and I can say, Hi, how are you today, Bob? What was that? Did the wind just blow? Do you know what that's like? I'm, n I'm not even talking about your boss, like my friend. I'm like, hi, how are you, friend? Oh, I didn't hear what you said, but I'm going to go ahead and talk anyways. And you're like, oh, I got something to tell you. Da 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 da. And they're like, sorry, I wasn't listening, but let me tell you what I have to say. And I'm like, okay, well, at one day and one time, I'd like to tell you something. I, I feel like, no, you're retarded. But I'm still your friend, and I'm going to talk to you, but you're not allowed to respond, ever. And if you do, I'm going to instantly dismiss whatever the fuck you had to say. And it's like, wow. Thanks, man. Thanks, dude. Oh, yeah, you go to work for money, don't you? And what do you spend it on? So what do you do? What do you have to show for your life? Hmm. Maybe some of you do, but not anybody I fucking know. That might be a difference. Maybe in your world, in your life, with your dad or your friends, your life, you have something to show for it. I don't. I don't have shit. And I, that's the only depression I can live in, is trying to define what and looking around the world I live in and I'm like wow you're dumb what does that mean about my life that I'm as dumb as you that I have to do the same dumb like you lower yourself to the lowest of low and then now I'm expected to be that stupid too fuck you I got, I got more balls than that I have more brains than that I have more dignity and respect for myself you have no respect for yourself. You have no dignity. You have no morals. You have no ethics. You are a fucking zombie. And and I'm supposed to be one too. Because you are through the peer pressure bullshit. Fuck you. Yeah, I'm depressed. And I'll define my existence through that. So I don't have to look like you. And you know what? You've infected me. And I look like you now. It's bullshit. I'm, I'm, I'm not liking that. I'm not liking how they infected me. 
I'm not digging that at all. They they fucking got the worms in my brain. Look, they they fucking did it. Look look at me. They did me. They did me. They got me. And I'm still like kicking in there. There's like Rain Man still alive in here. Little spark of hope left. They lobotomized the whole thing. Rain Man still kicking back there. Like motherfucker, you forgot this. And it's like they're slowly gonna Kim trail that off. And I'll just be walking around like everyone else, like. <gasps> <laughs> I don't know what you say. I'm not listening. And it's like, I don't know, dude. I think those people are going to die, like, really quick. Like, boom, a nuke went off over there. And there are lots of dead zombies. And I'm going to be like, my life is miserable. And add a pile of dead, burning zombies to that. It's not any worse. It's not any better. I'm at the lowest you can get. Everybody's a zombie. I live on a prison planet full of stupid people. They can't hear a word I say. I talk to myself because, you know, I know I talk a lot, but that's why I got to talk so much to myself because they wouldn't even listen to a word that I have to say. If I was like, hi, how are you? That's too much. You're ranting now. Well, y yeah, you know, I mean, right now, you know, f 50 minutes in, sure. But that's because I'm so upset from just not even being able to say hi. I'm like, I gotta overcompensate by by making an hour long video. You know, it's like you get married, you have a wife, you're you're at home with your kids and you're like, Where's mommy? where's mommy and your friend calls you and he's like yeah I'm down here at the stripper club and mommy's up on stage and you're like well guess what um, mommy's not coming home she decided she wanted to go to the strip club maybe daddy doesn't have a big enough dick I don't know but whatever she's there and here's the kid <clears throat> like there goes your life and so you're like okay well I'm gonna go down there and see this shit I don't believe you I'm gonna have to go down there and see it and so you go down there and there she is like oh here's a dollar and you're like I, 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 what, I'm an idiot you know I wanted to have a kid. And for them, they just pop it out. For you, you're like going to work and paying for it and trying to do shit and raise them properly when the mom's just off at the strip club having heroin sex or something. I don't know. Not that they're all like that, but... Only the sluts would fuck me, and I didn't know. How do I know that? I'm just like, hey, they're cute. Well, they don't only fuck me because they're sluts. They'd fuck anything, and I'm ugly. So I'm only going to get sluts that would fuck anything. Unless you're stupid and on the amygdala high like them, then you can't even fucking be normal like one. And I don't even think that's that's not normal. I don't think the amygdala high that they have is normal because it seems like this depression is normal because they're fucked up. This depression is normal because they're fucked up. And once you deal with, hey, they're fucked up, it's not me. I'm depressed because they're fucked up. They look at how they spend their money. Look at this. Look at how I'm expected to do the same thing as them and follow suit. And it's like I can't be that stupid. I can't. It, I physically can't go. Dur. Here's all my money for nothing. 
I'd rather punch you in the face. And and if I accidentally do it, you know, then so be it, you know. And if you knew you deserved it and I didn't go to fucking jail, then goddamn, there might be a god. And if five other people join me, there could definitely be a god. And if you fucking agree with me, I could believe in God. But without all that, there ain't no fucking God. There's only Satan, so worship him, because that's all you're going to get. Go low. <laughs> and expect nothing. Hope for the best, but expect the worst. Yeah, like... Don't ride the amygdala train. You can do that. You're just going to fuck yourself, dude. And I don't know what you're going to do. But one day, at some point, you're going to have a little baby crash. And I'm, maybe you'll get over it and suck your thumb or something. All I can smell is zombie shit. That's all I can smell. I can smell them. And I, I used to complain about how they smelled. I'd be like, dude, they smell so bad, like shit. And, um, like, like, I was looking at skunks, and, and I was, like, talking to my friend, and I was like, dude, they stink so bad. And he's like, you know, sometimes if your smell overpowers theirs, it's better to smell your own shit than someone else's. And he's like, and, and I'm like, I've heard that before. It's like, it's better to smell your shit than someone else's. And I'm like, so I'm going to start smelling like a zombie, right? As a type of poison immunity. Like, I started smoking, drinking coffee. <coughs> like, I used to just drink water or pop or something. But it's like, they still stink. Just not as much, actually. Like, smoking ruins your smell. But it's like, the... How does a zombie take a shit? They're like, I just ate five hot dogs. <laughs> it's like a bad movie where it's like it's a greasy, dirty, ugly zombie and they're fat and they're like, Ugh, uh, uh, uh. and they're like eating things like just the shit they eat it like they would eat out of garbage or just they would go to McDonald's and just buy the nastiest shit they would go to McDonald's and order the shittiest shit and they just smell and they stink and it's gross and they have bad shitting problems like they just they have chronic diarrhea because they just eat just fucking just gross shit and they're fat and repulsive 
and that's not even the half of them. Like, you know, even if they're skinny, they're just like they'd just be lobotomized and like dumb on some level, and little bitchified, and they're like, eh, uh, uh, nah, 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 nah. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you can sit there and be like, and I'm like, what the fuck? I just deal with this shit. And like, you bitch about it? Like, th I'm sorry to tell you, this isn't bitching. Like, this is me solving things in a way. You know, a little bit of bitching, maybe. But it's like, the level of bitching they do is, they're like, meh, meh, meh. Just like that. Like, I mean, that's an exaggeration. But that's to show, like, how they, like, a way that, like, how they act. It's an exaggeration, but, you know, in real life, they might be like, nah. or, you know, like, it's, like, lighter. I, I, I exaggerate. I have to exaggerate it, but, like, it, it might not be as noticeable in, in a way. It's exaggerated, but they're like, nah, 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 nah. And it's like, I just, I can't bitch like that. I can't. Like, zombies get, zombies can do whatever they want. And then if, like, for some reason, they bitch at you. They, like, they bitch and they bitch and they bitch. And then they get their way. And it's really weird, because I've, it doesn't happen like that for me. Like, I can't bitch for one thing. Like I can't go. Nah, 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 nah. Like I can't do that, dude. And so I'm looking at him like, not only do you fuck my life up, but the second one bad little thing happens to you, you just like cry and cry and cry and cry and cry and cry forever, and then you get your way, like a little spoiled bitch or something. And it's like. Like, not only do I have to put up with all your shit, but then when one little thing doesn't go your way, then I gotta listen to you bitch about it to me and, and tell me how I'm bad. Just the weirdest shit. Like, I want to be your friend, and you're calling me bad. I'm bad, I'm bad, I'm bad. but I'm supposed to be your friend or something. Like, literally, like, you're calling me bad. Like, there's a difference when I'm telling someone other people are bad and they think I'm talking about them, and I'm like, no, I'm not saying you're bad, I'm saying this other person's bad. And they think I'm talking about them when, when really I'm not. But when they're directly talking to you and they're saying, no, you're bad, blah, 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 and they're just, no, 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 you're bad. Uh, uh, uh. And you're like, I really don't like you, but I can't bitch like you do. Like, I, I can't do that. Like, I just can't. I don't know why. I just, I don't have the, the bitchiness in me enough to bitch. I don't care enough to bitch about it like they do. They're different. I know I'm, I'm bitching now a little bit, but it's like, at the time and at that place, I just, with them, and, and like, this is just be me by myself bitching like like I, I can't do it to them it's too bitchy it's like uh, 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 uh. like I'd rather just deal with it and get on with my fucking life they don't they can't and it's it's like do you, do you know what it's like to talk to someone and know that they can't hear you they're not there they never will be they're incapable of having a normal conversation.
and it's like but I, I want to still have that conversation so I'll listen to them but they can't listen they're, they're, they have to not acknowledge anything you say they have to overlook it they have to say well I don't understand what you just said so instead of trying to listen I'm just going to ignore what you just said because I don't, I don't even know what you just said so I'd just rather ignore you and it's like dude that is so old and it's stupid I don't want to be friends with people like that so I don't have any friends because they're all like that and I'm like why is it that I can listen to you and I know what you're saying but no one's home for you Like, and I don't even have to be talking about complicated shit like I'm doing right now I could just be like hey how are you and they're like what did you say ha hello how are you today what I'm not listening okay well then I guess I won't talk to you no no this is what I gotta say blah 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 I'm like okay I heard you cool and then they'd be like well what do you think never mind I don't care I would just like try to ignore what you just said anyways and it's like why like I know that they have Rain Man secretly sometimes like if they were like me they might have some secret Rain Man so that's why like when I make these videos I just figure like if you're not paying attention and you're like doing other things listening it, it could probably program your subconscious a little bit I don't, I don't have the music notes that get repetitive and get trapped in your brain so if I start playing like if I start singing music expect for me to brainwash you and actually know what I'm doing and, and to become an alpha but I'm not the kind of alpha that will dumb you down and make you stupid I'm the kind of alpha that'll wake you up like agent thought provoker like I like starting little brush fires in your mind that are unstoppable like forest fires in your mind in your mind in your mind up here not out there here right there yeah yeah oh if you're listening now listening now oh that's crazy because you've never done that before why would you start now because uh, maybe you were right uh, no, you think so? Uh-huh. Uh, no, no, I know so. One plus one equals two. It's the fucking universe, dude. It's real life. Up is up. Down is down. Pull your head out of your ass, and you can see it too. But no, your amygdala's way too high. You're like... <laughs> it's like, they really... That's the really noise that they make, dude. I can't even believe, like, I was able to even catch them making the noise and then able to emulate that noise that's how they eat too they'll be like because they don't close their mouth when they eat they're like when they do it so like <laughs> you guys like right on the top of your like that, like, like, they have to smack their lips every time they eat. They're like, are you eating there, zombie? That is so good. It's like, I, sometimes I make noise, too, and I'm sitting there, and I'm, like, eating, and I'm like, did I just make a noise? But, like, when I'm watching them, I'm like, they take it to the next fucking zombie extreme. They're like, I just ate ten cheeseburgers. And you're like, smacking the lips there a little bit, huh? And you're like, what's really going on in that brain there? What's taking up there? Is that like a repetitive... Like, is that just, like, another addiction? Like, that's an addiction now. And it's like, man, I have an addictive personality. 
they're infecting me at every chance. Like, if I start doing shit like that, they're just infecting me is all. So if I start going like... Like that, they're getting me. They got me. They, like, their virus, whatever zombie virus that they have, natural, unnatural, I don't know, it got me, okay? If, if I start doing shit like that, which might not be that far around the corner, honestly, because they infect the fuck out of me, dude. Like, their shit and their fucking smell and their fucking viruses. It's just, they're just like a walking plague of zombie stench, and it got me. So if, if I'm like that, I'm sorry, dude. They got me, okay? I'm not gonna lie. They infected me. I'm like partial zombie, but I'm, I'm, there's still somebody up here, even though I'm like half zombie. Like, hey, I'm, I'm like still kicking it underneath this shit. So don't forget about me, okay? <clears throat> I'm still not one of them, even though I'm, they're infecting me pretty good. I'd like to get out and cure my infection, please. Please, thanks. Yeah, I would really enjoy that. Thank you. Come again. Like, I think that, 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 it's the addiction. It's their addictive zombie mental pattern zombiness. Like, zombie, like, like, that repetitive, like, head bobbing retardism. Like, I'm not talking about music. I mean, they like, like, they're like fucking chickens when they bob their head. It's, it, it's anything to be addicted to something. The, the mindless, dumb, just, just pure essence of zombie bullshit. And it's like you're looking at a zombie in the face. You're like, that motherfucker right there is a fucking zombie. Like, I don't know how much of a threat he is. He's just a zombie. He's just stupid in the way. Like, I hate to s say that on some level, but I think stupid has the right to exist. But it's just, just this is, it, it, I, they take it to the next level, dude. They take stupid and they run with that shit as far as it'll go until they're going to eventually have to make some kind of, like, law, like, like, they're going to have to practice real eugenics with the way people are. They're so addictive habit-forming. Bullshit. Like, just... You ever seen that, dude? You can't tell me that you haven't seen people doing this. Like... Or just, just anything like that. Like, one guy, he's like... Like that all the time. And one guy, I noticed he had to like go like this when he walked. And then one guy goes like this. And you're like, oh my god, you're fucking lobotomized, dude. Like, I don't know what kind of mental illness that is. I don't think it's a mental illness. I think you have an addictive habit forming retard is a problem and I you exist you have a job oh my god <laughs> like, like it's, it's it's just it's not dude this it's, it's not right it's not right dude I know I'm not perfect or anything but just just too much of this shit dude like dudes just standing out here in, in the fucking hallway dude and they're like smoking meth and actually injecting themselves with things and fucking crack sluts and shit. It is horrific and gross. They're like getting infected with AIDS out there. And they're just this listening to me, just standing there. And it's so gross and vile, dude. They're zombies. They're disgusting. They're vile. They're putrid. They're, they're habit forming weirdo fucks. I mean, I, I'm. I can form some habits. I smoke. I, I got some addiction problems myself. But they take it to the next fucking level, dude. The, the dumbest you can go. Full retard. Never go full retard. Well, they went there and they've been there for quite a while and it, it and it's going to be fucked up, dude. That's all I got to tell you. If you ain't seeing stupid, 
then you might have some problems there, man. If you're not smart enough, you haven't noticed that these people are stupid. Dude, you might be just as fucking dumb as them, man. And that's scary. Like, you're... Uh, you're one of them, dude. And I'm, I'm trapped with these people. They're everywhere. And it's fucking, like, real. And it's weird. There's so many. There's millions of these people. And I'm just, like, one person. I just want to, like, get a little space. And they're, like, totally in, in space. Uh, privacy invading. They don't follow laws. They don't care. And then they don't listen. Dude, that zombies get away with anything. Dude, zombies get away with whatever the fuck they want. I don't know why it's the strangest fucking thing ever. Because cause I make videos. That means they can do whatever they want to me. But if I don't like it, then I'm bad. I mean anything. I call it the deception when they don't do anything. They're they're just biding their time. Probably contemplating the next best thing to do. They want to use their cards correctly. Which, you know, they're not entirely stupid. They're zombies, yes. But, as stupid as they are, it, it's almost smart to be that stupid. Because they're getting away with it. Because they're that stupid. And they're all that stupid. So they all get away. Because it's normal. It's normal to be stupid. Stupid is rewarded. Stupid is appealing. Girls look for stupid guys. They're easily manipulated. Guys look for stupid women. They're easy. Make a good couple. A dysugenics family. Of stupid they can both take advantage of each other I want to take advantage of your intelligence it's hard to do that when you don't have any and I'm not really trying to take advantage of that I'm trying to implement that I'm trying to apply that through applied science into my life I want to have a family, not a lobotomized, brain dead. <laughs> it's like, it's hard to find a woman that has a brain. Like, sure, I can, I can find so many loopy bitch, loopy pussy, fucking, you're a crazy bitch, but you feel so good on top of me when I dream of doing you all night, right on. Right on, right on, right on, right on. You're crazy, bitch. And it's like... I can fuck a crazy bitch. I just... I'd rather not. Just the thought of... Some hell demon child... That somehow now I gotta pay for. Like, please, God, no. Like, my life is torture, as it is. Like giving a woman a kid to dangle over my head to just fucking toy with me I'm so glad that I didn't have babies I want one but women just get them and then use them to fucking toy with the men with and it's like I just don't I don't want that I don't want to be toyed with my life I don't want my kids to be dangled over me as some kind of fucking toy I want to raise them and love them I can't do that when the fucking zombie cunt it's a fucking zombie cunt, dude. And it's like, I, I'm not going to go there. Sure, I want pussy and everything, but... That's the whole thing about the dis-eugenics. Is only stupid people reproduce. Only stupid people are reproducing. The girl next door to me is mentally retarded. And 
guys keep going in, babies keep coming out. They're probably up to ten now, dude, and it's horrible. They have, like, scabs on their faces and shit. These little kids, they look like they have AIDS or something. And their mom is mentally retarded. And the guys going in there are mentally retarded. I can't imagine if she has AIDS or what. They have big old weird looking shit on their face, dude. And it's really weird. I actually called the cops and I'm like, this mentally retarded woman is having kids. Is this a crime? Is it a crime to, for mentally retarded people to have kids? Like, this, I don't think this is right, dude. These kids are not going to be well. Like, sh am I going to have to call CPS or what? And they came over and they're like, she's mentally retarded and she has too many kids, but there's not really a whole lot we can do about it. I'm like, I, I don't want to be like Nazi myself. I don't want to be like one child policy like China. But the woman is mentally retarded. Literally, she's mentally retarded. And, and she's having all these kids and it doesn't seem right. It doesn't seem right for the kids. It doesn't seem right for the people that are going to have to take care of them. And I can't even have a kid. And they, they don't have jobs, they don't have lives, they smoke crack in their basement pumping out kids, and it, it, it doesn't seem right, dude. I, don't, I, I am nobody to tell anybody else what to do, but I gotta hear their nonsense all day and night. And they're worried about me making a video complaining about it, listening through my walls, trying to say I'm bad somehow doing that in my own privacy, in my own home. I can't even make a video. They're like just, just standing there stalking me. And it's gross, it's vile, it's disgusting, it's hideous. It's zombie, zombie as far as you can get. There's a zombie standing at my door, and it's like he's infecting the door. My doorknob probably has zombie drool on it. It's vile, it's disgusting. They're out there injecting heroin into their veins right now, taking meth. Maybe they're narcs, and they don't do that. I don't know, but they're there doing something, and it's really weird. And there's like crackheads and crack sluts and... Some people are normal, they go to work, and they live their normal lives, and you don't see them because they're normal. And then the unfunctional meth-smoking zombies are up your ass, and they won't leave. And it's... It's... Uh... It's harassment. It's, it's zombie harassment. And they get away with it. It ain't right, dude. It ain't right that the mentally retarded girl next door has ten kids and I, I can't even find a halfway decent woman to have one. They don't exist. And then I can see pretty ones and I'm like, dude, the pretty one, you know, she, her, her boyfriend's a doctor and he makes six figures a year. I'm not competing with that. And she's not going to lose six figures a year to get with some fucking dumb fuck. And the only woman I'm going to get is a fucking slut dope fiend myself. And it's like, I can't do that. My life is shit. I can only get a dope slut fiend girlfriend. And I, I just want happy... I just want to have a kid and say I love you. And watch them grow up and stuff. And I, I can't. It's, they're, everybody's too retarded. And I'm pissed. I'm really fucking pissed that I live on this planet full of these stupid people. They have fucked my life up. For the last fucking time, they fucked my life up. If if a burglar burglarized me a thousand times and I just let him do it a thousand times, it's like, no more Mr. Nice Guy. No more Mr. He, he, he. I don't know. I don't know. And it's like, the next time they go in to fucking rob my house, they're not going to like what happens in it as an ex as a example in a way. Not, not that that's what I'm talking about, you know.
I'm saying. I'm tired of it. I, I feel like I'm ascending from this darkness, from this dark pit. Through my depression, I reached a level of amygdala that they couldn't get, dude. And I don't, I don't know what it means. Like, I think things are gonna happen. Like, I don't the some it's gonna happen. Not just to me, like this whole world, like something's gonna happen, and and through it, like things that I don't even know will happen. Like you can't fathom, you can't imagine what's gonna happen. That's the that's the beauty and the amazement of it is they're trapped in a box that that's all they know. They only know their cubicle. They only know their little life. When whatever the fuck is gonna happen for me is like. It's a step out of their reality, out of their matrix. I can't even comprehend it. And so I'm, I'm kind of excited because I'm like, like, wow, we're going there. Where are we going? And it's out of the lemming prison. And it's like, it's like, if you only see what you know, how do you ever see anything new? How do you get out of the box? We're leaving safety nets behind and we're going out of the box. And it's like, today I feel like I made a huge step in that direction, and it's just like, it takes, it's like, you know, how old am I? Like, it, it's taken this long just to get to a point where you're finally escaping something or getting somewhere, and it's like, wouldn't you rather do that when you're 16? You're not, but it's like, <clears throat> you could if you got an early start take the accelerated program the Mad Hatter truth course I don't know you know I had people poison me I had a person on the internet poison me. And I don't know what they poisoned me with. Strychnine or something? I don't... That, that's all. What if they gave me, like, radiation or something? I don't know what they gave me. You know? They poisoned me. And I guess they think they're good, like... Oh, we poisoned that Aaron guy. We're good. Like, he was just crazy. We're going to poison him. Whatever. And it's like, what if that's what's partly wrong with me? Like, they... Like, I'm dying from their poison, but, like, I'm going to be, like, reborn or something. I don't know, because... Not that I am, but it's like, just... How, how could you live through something and, uh, like that, you know? I, I, I was poisoned. But I always am. I smoke cigarettes and everything else, but... I mean, they, they try to kill me. They tried to poison me. And I guess they felt justified within that. And they do. They feel justified. They feel like they need to kill me. I, I just need to be wiped out. Censored. I need, to, I need to just shut the fuck up and go away if I don't like it. And it's like, it's really weird, dude. They're going to kill me. How would you like it if they killed you? Oh, no, you don't do anything wrong. That's zombie mentality right there. Like, if that's how you justify, it's okay to poison me, but they're never going to get you because they like you. That's zombie, dude. You're a zombie if that's really what you were thinking. Like, that's really what you were thinking. 
Come on. And you're not a zombie. Dude, they, they will kill you. Kill you. They will beat your face in. They will poison you. You're so stupid, you... You don't realize what you're facing, do you? Like... You're so dumb, you... You can't consciously understand what... Getting your face... Smashed in is, is all about. Like... Yeah, oh yeah, I just deserve it, right? No, that could never happen to you. You could never be walking down the street and a fucking horde of zombies smash your fucking face in. Yeah. I don't feel immune to that. I don't feel like that's not going to happen to me. I feel like that's what they they try to do, you know? What makes you feel so safe from from your own dumbness? You don't. That's the, your ignorance. Like, they like you. No, it's okay. They hate me. But they like you. Do you know what that's like to hear shit like that coming from you? They just hate me. But no, everybody loves you. What a load of shit. I don't really find that to be true. I don't really think they like you that much. I think you live in a fucking fantasy, dude. And I think you admit to it. And honestly, I have better things to do than to than to be like, nah, nah, me, me. I, I, can't, I can't even do it. Like, nah, me. I, I can't do that. I noticed Nothing Fancy doesn't have curled lip. But I thought he was a bitch. I thought that was just a coincidence. He's still a little bitch. Really, he is. Like, he blocks people and shit. For what? Like, you're nothing fancy. You need to, you need to censor your comment box. Yeah. Because you're a little bitch. Yeah. Because you're really worried about what somebody's going to say in your comment box, ain't you? Because you're really worried about truth. Ain't you? Can't let truth on your page. No, better censor that. But anybody else can say whatever bullshit dumbness they want. Doesn't matter. Could be anything. But the second it sparks some curiosity, delete. We're not allowed to have critical thinkers in our comment section. No, no, no. <laughs> that's why he makes videos he's like you should buy this look at this ha 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 you should buy that you don't go to my website and buy that I'm nothing fancy I'm so cool I was in the army forever that's what zombies do they make up big fantastical lies about themselves I was in the army for 15 years. I used to have to lie about my subs to get famous. And then now that I'm famous, I have to lie about how I lied to lie to get subs. But really, I'm a part of the Illuminati and they just give me subs. But now I have to lie and say that I had to lie to lie to get the subs. But really, I'm just a part of the Illuminati. And they gave me s subs. And then they're like, you couldn't be me even if I became you. And it's like, yeah, because the Illuminati chose you. And you know that. And you know nobody can make it to Illuminati powerhood because they just randomly go around and they're like you we want you to become a musician and we want you to sing this word for word and they, I'm sure they have a way of picking Obama and cherry picking Obama 
and knowing that he's easily brainwashed and he'll do every fucking thing they say and then they just do the same thing with musicians and they're like you're gonna be a rock star you're gonna sing this you're gonna do that and it's all brainwashing all of it and it's so like like what record company is not a brainwash <laughs> like you join the record company you're brainwashing people you become Miley Cyrus you're brainwashing people and what do you think Miley Cyrus is gonna do say no no, I don't want millions of dollars tricking people as an alpha and brainwashing people and no damn well good what I'm doing because I'm an alpha and then never being able to say that. And even if they did, it would just be like a joke. Anyways, I'm going to go because I'm probably like too upset. And so I guess I'm done ranting for now. I guess I got some ranting out there. I guess I feel better, but now I have to feel guilty that I can actually rant on a video and say what I think. And I guess I have to hide in a corner and cry because I actually made a video about what I think. And God forbid if somebody watched it and, and saw what the fuck I thought, now I'm going to have to go cry and hide in a corner and think about s censoring myself so they don't have to do it for me because they're not allowed to let any truth get out you know and I better stop the video anyways because they'll probably just somehow like cancel my feed or something I don't know I better not give them any ideas so I better go I mean they really do that shit I'm not even joking I mean I'm not as paranoid as you think I am they really do that shit so I hope you have fun living in your little fantasy like Oh, they just hate me. You're okay because you do everything you think. You do everything they say. What makes you feel so safe? What makes you feel so safe? I don't think all the alphas feel is safe. They, they kind of know, like, hey, if the, if the shit hits the fan, we better get the fuck out of Dodge. And it's like, they don't believe the shit will hit the fan. But they know, like, oh, fuck, if it ever did, run away. And it's like, what makes you feel safe? From yourself, from other people like that. Like, because you, they like you? Because you're the one brainwashing other people? That's why you're safe? Because you're not going to get brainwashed because you're the one doing it to other people. Or you work for them. That's why you're good. Like, I... <laughs> Maybe that's true. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right. And I think that's the whole point is when you give somebody money and their cognitive dissidence rationalizes right from wrong and it says, well, even though that's wrong, I'm getting paid to do it. So that's right. Money's right. I don't care. I'll lie. Cognitive dissidence. Or whatever.